morning everybody so today what we're gonna do is show that you know small compact tractors they they can help you on a farm in a pinch uh i mean we have been doing all the round bale moving with it uh ever since back to my 2025 um but the 2555 will be on the square baler the 285 is on the round baler just in case uh we don't plan on making any round bales today but should something break down there we will go to that let's see if this thing okay so yesterday we were raking hay with the 5000 over there and we developed a oil leak uh we haven't really dug into it yet to see um, because this is it for us when we get this bailed up today we're done for the season uh, the hay that we put on the wagon today is already going to be for sale or sold excuse me uh, and so what we're looking at is we're going to rake we're going to roll the windrows over with the 2038 uh, I've already got it hooked up. That low draw bar is going to be a little bit of a nuisance, but I don't have to straddle these rows. I'm just turning them over, and that rake sticks out far enough off to the side. Uh, I should be just fine with that. So we're going to roll with that. Uh, we're, I mean, we're, <laughs> we're kind of in a pinch. Uh, so I think we have all our ducks in a row now and we're gonna get to it. So stay tuned.
what I'm doing now, these two outside windows, I've already pulled this one in twice. They sit in the shade most of the morning and then again in the afternoon this time of the year. So what I'm going to do, since the weather is cooperating enough to give us another day, we decided I'll pull these in and then tomorrow morning when the dew burns off, I'll, uh, I'll flip them again and then we'll bail these two up. That's why we left the wagon here. We'll just finish these two windrows. There's actually a lot of hay in these two outside windrows uh, compared to what some of them were. So that's what we're going to do right now and the smaller fields i didn't shoot video in all the fields the smaller fields are we're going to kick them on the ground i mean there's two fields up there close to a horse barn i bet we don't get 10 bales between the two of them so he's just he's up there right now he's just going to kick them on the ground I'll go up and pick them up. Maybe I'll see if uh, if I can get the girls to help. If not, I've done it before. So anyway, just wanted to let you know that's what we're doing right now. And then I'll get this finished up. And that'll be it for today. That'll be it for this video. All right, that's it. Uh... I actually did five fields they're small I only really I'm only giving you video footage from the one big field here that's 2.6 acres um, that's the biggest of the five I don't know how much riding around raking you guys actually needed to watch it ended up being an hour video if I showed you footage from all of them I did have one concern was that very low draw bar. I picked up one of these really handy one-hand operation hitch pin from bolt-on hooks. And that actually proved to be quite functional today. Um... I bought it from bolt-on hooks, but last year at Empire Farm Days, uh, another different salesman was throwing me a sales pitch, and that was one of the things he said. You know, you don't have that, you don't have that J pin at the bottom, uh, catching hay and stuff, and that did work once in the first small field I did. So I ran into one spot where I actually had to fully straddle a windrow, and then I did have to stop and pull. I did end up with a mound of hay built up under here. These tractors are just very, very low to the ground. But overall, once I got that figured out and I figured out how, <coughs> how to attack the windrow with this small tractor, it worked out quite well. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it.